Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Try Not To Grin, the series where we are looking at our memes Discord tab, having a, just the best fucking time. Well, for, well, I can only speak on behalf of myself, <laughs> but I'm, I'm having a, a lovely time as always. Uh, I, to be honest with you guys, I always save this series for when I'm having a really just shit month, <laughs> day, week, whatever. And then I come to it for, for momentary bursts of joy, <laughs> okay? And it's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you kindly for, for posting and etc. But without further ado, let us jump in. There is no contest, by the way, to not laugh. Otherwise, I think I would just be... I, we could do it one of these times of just trying not to laugh. I think I'm pretty okay at trying not to laugh when it's just images. When it's, uh, when it's video and there's like a punchline and like vote of sounds, then I, I fail. <laughs> but yes, me explaining what a precious human being you are and how much love you bring to people around you. <laughs> Screaming all the while. <laughs> you, after saying the slightest bad thing about yourself. <laughs> How dare you not realize your own greatness, you fool, maggot! <laughs> I'm expect I'm expecting like a like a badass sergeant, uh, army sergeant, just screaming at you that you're great. <laughs> oh God! Okay, this is like <laughs> this is like partial cringe. <laughs> How cute the person reading this is. I do appreciate it, but also, ugh. <laughs> job interview. So. Tell me what special skills you have. Oh, you can do the fold tongue things? Jesus. Carl heard you said something mean to yourself. Apologize immediately. All right. <laughs> All right. Carl, how fucking dare you <laughs> Can't try to go against me and my self-deprecating humor? You wouldn't understand, Carl. I need this, <laughs> okay? Nothing can change. Nothing can change. This beautiful moment. Yeah. Plot. Bird poop. Wind. Rain. I was wrong. This day uh, is even better now that you're here. Go, cats. Guys, what is with you predisposing your love and affection to cats? All right. No cat does this. Not one. <laughs> okay. Dogs? Yes. Maybe. Something here. There's no cat that has ever been that jazzed to see another cat or a human in their in their existence, okay? Dogs, however, all of them. How do I look? Thumbs up. How do I look? Thumbs up. How do I look? More thumbs up. You're not helping me decide, but you look great in everything, smiley face. Okay. All right, I want to call a fucking full stop here. This is bullshit. All right, this is a hundred and ten percent bullshit. All right, there's been numerous times where I've went shopping with a lass and it's gone the worst possible way it could have. All right, I'm the one who's like, actually, I think this is better. That one looks, it doesn't look great. It doesn't fit your shape really well in the slightest. This one, great, great stuff. Choose this one, and then they sit there for another ten minutes. Holding him. I mean, and you're like, and they're just in their head deciding. And then they decide the one that you didn't choose. And then they go to school the next day and they're like, oh, I look disgusting. And I'm like, whoa, what? <laughs> Who would have thought that? <laughs> I'm going crazy in the corner. But, but yes, that's been my experience. Uh, what's your opinion? It means nothing. Cool. And then they choose whichever one they want. Nonsense. Craziness. The past. If only things could have gone differently. Brain. Stay in the present. Push his brain along. Oh, it's the heart. Oh, it's the heart helping the brain out. Ha! <laughs> it's not how it works at all. But okay. <laughs> um, what if something... <laughs> I feel real nihilistic today. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what if something bad happens? The future. Oh, neat. Stay in the present. Let's make the most of today. There you go. This was incredibly heartwarming and nice. But also... Uh, backwards. I was watching like a podcast with a neuroscientist or something like that, and he was explaining that people think that the brain is, or is like the the body is kind of made to give nutrients to your brain and etc., which is not the case. Your brain is basically entirely working off your body, which makes sense of things like depression and things like that. Whereas if you have like a really bad uh, health system, like you're you know you don't exercise, you eat terribly. Uh, you don't seek things that make you joyful and happy, etc., uh, etc., etc. Et then you'll have a horrible mental space because your brain 
is trying to manage you know, the rest of your body, basically. It's, it's, your brain is a slave to your heart, your organs, and etc. So if those aren't intact, then you're, it's going to be sending you signals like, bad things, bad things, blah. But this is lovely. <laughs> this is very cute and fantastic. I'm sorry this scarf isn't turning out well. That's okay. It's the hammock. You made it great. All right, this is just too much joy and loving and happiness from my heart. It doesn't know how to react. <laughs> it's just getting cold. When it's like the Grinch when his heart grew, except instead of it, you know, him having a, a Vegeta moment and becoming a god for a couple seconds, instead he just has a heart attack because he doesn't know how to process it. But also, your heart got like five times bigger. What? <laughs> you are dead. When he asks if you're sure you want him to choke you hard <laughs> because he's worried that you might die. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is a... This is what we call a hard left turn <laughs> from the, the loving joy. Mother of God. <laughs> Anyways. What is this? What the guy? What kind of haircut is this as well? Red and blonde up top. That's like business in the back part in the front. Weird. Weird, weird. What's wrong? God damn it. What's wrong? Damn. On me. Dawned on me. There are no aliens. None of that is true. How can you be so sure? You think Trump couldn't keep his fat mouth shut if these if this was? Oh, right. Yeah, I think he would. I don't, th I don't think people. I think people would kill him. <laughs> I think I think that's a the that's a false. Uh, prophecy kind of thing where you're like yeah yeah no th this one person is literally the spearhead who knows everything about knows all of the secrets yes yes I'm sure they w yeah that to me that to me is a crazy notion that this one person has ha knows the entire history of everything in the, on the planet um, and there wouldn't be some people being like hey by the way uh, we've deemed this to be something that not even the president can uh, can can fuck with <laughs> so yeah why because it will destroy the whole planet <laughs> because it's not just America that you're fucking with, okay? I don't know, I'm getting, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I don't know, I heard this argument before where people were like, but Trump would have told us about it. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He did release one of those little Tic Tac things, uh, that did fly out of a, a, a scanner system or something. Anyways, I, I don't want to get into this, guys. One of my favorite things to talk about is aliens. And I'm not saying that they're 100%, they, they're a thing, but I do love talking about it, and I don't like this kind of propaganda because it shits on you being able to talk about it with your boys <laughs> and just being like, "What's up, dude? Wouldn't this be crazy?" Um, yeah, as well as like talking about any sort of thing that probably exists, like a superhuman, like probably exists. Sleep. This is brilliant. Playing video games until 5 a.m. Sleep. But I like this. Uh, I, I, oh man, if only sleep loved me, <laughs> I would love it so much. But I, I sit there for 10 hours. And I'm just like, please, <laughs> please, brain, stop thinking of things. I'm not even playing video games. <laughs> I'm just sitting there like an asshole doing nothing, not sleeping. Looking at the ceiling being like, please, <laughs> just shut down, brain, body, everything. Six was clearly a seven because seven, eight, nine. But why did seven eat nine? Because you're supposed to eat three square meals a day. This is advanced. Oh, you took my soul. <laughs> you took my soul. I don't want it back. That's your soul now. <laughs> I went into a pet shop and asked for 12 bees. The shopkeeper counted out <laughs> 13 and handed them over. You've given me one too many. That one is a free bee. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Okay, that we okay, gotta slow down. I don't have any more soul to give. <laughs> okay, yikes. Whew. Again, I've mentioned that I mentioned this time and time again. I both love these kind of pun jokes, but also they take they take it out of me. <laughs> you know, I feel like I walk a mile every time I hear it. Although I do enjoy them. It's a weird thing. Oh, it tastes like a like fucking hard alcohol. Whenever I drink that, it's just it's just like uh, bacteria juice. <laughs> Kind of what it is. Okay. When you realize that shovel was literally groundbreaking invention. <laughs> Ed. Okay. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> it's not even like laughter. It's just like me, my body rejecting information. So it's like. 
<laughs> get away get it out of me yesterday i ate two pieces of string and today they came out tied i shit you not is this carthage i think it's casper but it it's Casper, okay. Casper is coming for Carthage's job because for those guys who do not know, Carthage always posts like a, a flurry of, of puns <laughs> whenever we're streaming, and it just disabilitates me completely. <laughs> is that the right this this not disorients? Debilitates me, that's what it is. I'm thinking of. Uh, people are usually shocked when they find out that I'm not very good electrician. Okay. <laughs> that one was I don't like that one as much. <laughs> but okay. Marvel. Boom, boom, boom. DC, the joke. Okay, all right, let's not get out of, out of hand <laughs> here, okay? This is some nonsense if I've ever seen it. Yeah, fucking you know, like a million triple A, million dollar movies all coming to a cohesive uh, peak as well as you uh, reviewed really well. And then the Joker. All right, I'm not saying the Joker is not a fantastic film. I haven't seen it. I'm also not into uh, feeling sad, <laughs> so I try to fight, fight that at all possible cause. So when I'm feeling really happy, I'll give this a watch and bring myself back down. But for the time being, it's it's not in theaters anymore, and it's nowhere near me, so I can't watch it. But yes, sure, <laughs> sure. Why are you always doing that? I'm training for what? This. All right, listen, guys, I'm not sure if the sloth was the best choice for this one because sloths are the most rapey uh, person, apparently. Uh, right beside ducks, apparently. Do you guys know that a, a duck, I think a, or is it a goose? One of them, I think it's a goose. Uh, a goose, uh, wang, schlong, is actually designed like a corkscrew so that it, it makes it easier to rape other gooses. Nature is a horrible thing, <laughs> okay? It can be a horrible nightmare. <laughs> it is not kind, it is... Yikes. <laughs> Just... Oh. He protects. He attacks. But most importantly, he eats a frog for a snack. It's very cute. I have not watched it yet. I'm waiting. For those of you guys who do not know, because everyone always comes at me on the streams of like, hey, have you watched Goblin Slayer when it was just airing? Have you watched this? Have you watched that? I don't I don't play that game with cliffhangers. So I wait until the whole season's out, and then I watch it. You're not going to leave me on a cliffhanger. Break my heart. Make me wait a day, and then I'm just like, why am I here? <laughs> why did I watch this? Me and my... <laughs> I don't know why this is just the I love the stupid like scrunch down memes of people <laughs> Like even the uh What is it called the the guy who's cyberpunk? Keanu Reeves Keanu Reeves um, The memes where he scrunched down when he was on when he was at e3 is so good anyways me and my son on our way to annoy my wife <laughs> Is this cottage? It's gotta be cottage it's cottage. It's the DM one. Rogue intending to get intending to get abandoned valuables from Cinders? Cind Cinders, okay. Warlock enjoying the smell of burnt meat. Clerk who'd obviously had a different idea of crowdfunding. The DM. Rogue intending to get clerk who obviously had a different idea of crowdfunding. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand and my neck hurt. Here we go. Yeah, this is the one. <laughs> so good. How good so good? Ten year old me asking <laughs> I can go, asking I if I can go outside. <laughs> you and your boys waiting out there like hey, we're waiting and then you're off to the races and then you'd go do the same uh, loop around your your cul-de-sac for the 80th time while talking about nothing and it's the best time of your life Oh, man, man. I have such good memories of me and me and my friends just just fucking about doing nothing Just like biking around our cul-de-sac <laughs> jumping on the trampoline and shit good times Perfecting the quadruple backflip and being shocked to this day that we didn't break our necks hired the bounty droid. I did 
paying child support? I am not. <laughs> Yoda, worst dad. That's not Yoda, right? He literally, mini Yoda is Yoda, right? Like baby Yoda is, is, is Yoda. It's not like a, the child of Yoda, right? Because it's taking place way before anything happened. Is that right? No, I don't think that's right. I don't know. Okay, well. If you would, if you give her food, she calms right down. Just right down immediately. Also, also, if you get her in a Brazilian uh, chokehold uh, and then put all of your body weight and she can't move. And then she'll, you'll hear a lot of wheezing and then you have a good 10 seconds to run. Because when she comes back into consciousness, she's going to be on you. Biting the back of your skull like a, a rabid animal. <laughs> okay. Your future self is taking a hubba about you. Joke's on him. I, <laughs> I, I've I ruined his life. <laughs> well, then it makes sense. Makes sense why he's shitting on, on you. The party fails to persuade and intimidate roles on the shopkeeper. Barbarian. Shame. <laughs> Put some shell in the thing. <laughs> Looks like someone's dying. Okay. Did anyone actually do that in any of the D&D things? I've never seen that out of all like the four or five super long uh, D&D kind of uh, series that I watched on the internet. Uh, where someone actually killed the the uh, shopkeeper and just took everything <laughs> he had. Why pay you when I could just kill you and be done with it? Like I don't think you're as strong as the boss that we just fought, right? Like, ugh. come on, guys, <laughs> morality, fuck it, <laughs> just ah. Paladin, cloak, rogue, bard, barbarian, ra ranger, drowd, druid, 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 wizard, fighter, warlock, monk, sorcerer. I really don't know. I feel like mine would be rogue, but I always, always feel like the rogue is just like a bitch ass character, you know? Like, isn't that the thing that's notorious in these games is that like the wizard is just stupid? <laughs> like has the power to, uh, to eviscerate the world and you're like, fuck. But then again, I think it's also rolls. Like if you roll and you just get destroyed <laughs> seven times, you're like, well, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> da, 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 da. Really? This wakes you up? You must be a light sleeper, dude. Yeah, no, I, I, sounds wake me up. If I hear something creak, I'm like, and I'm up. I'm also one of those people that like goes from like dead asleep to like if someone calls my name, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like, my voice is just perfectly clear as if I've been talking the whole day. It's really weird. <laughs> but, but my face stays like hard locked, like encased in cement for like far too long. But you know. Oh, sorry, this is a continuous comic. Okay, bang, bang. He hates the sun. It always wakes him up. He studies hard. He gets A's. He growled, He goes to college. Still with the fury of a thousand gods in his, in his heart. And also his weirdo friend with his very small nipples. Uh, trying to also give him some sort of support. He grows up. They become uh, some sort of... Major, he graduates is what this is talking about. He joins NASA, still with the fury of a thousand suns in his heart. Uh, da, 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 more mad, more mad, becomes an astronaut. He finally takes off into the bright black unknown. And alas, he goes into the cockpit, flies out into space itself, that cold unknown as well, with a super soaker and a dream. All right, <laughs> all right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end it on that. Um, RT off. Uh, RTX on. Guys, I'm a bit of an asshole, but I think the, I think the truck looks fucking awesome. Honestly, like, kind of, I'm fine with it. I'm 100% fine with it. <laughs> anyway, um, as long as it's like good, <laughs> I don't care. <coughs> <coughs> I'm fine. What are you talking about? Um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Not your time. You're lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you as always. There's a subscribe button right there as well as two videos to my further uh, far right. Sorry. Uh, thank you again and goodbye.